Hello, it's me. It's been a little while, hasn't it? It's been a few weeks. Um, yeah, I suppose uh, the last time I did this, yeah, it was a couple of weeks ago, and then I went out and bought a bunch of stuff, like when I was set free from my own personal lockdown. And um, I'm from the, the lockdown that was happening in Wales, and I spent like all week getting stuff. Um, and then I kind of calmed down a little bit. And so it's taken me a while to sort of fill up my boxes and stuff. And some of these things that I'm going to show, um, I might have mentioned in other bits, um, like in my daily vlogs and stuff. But I can't actually remember because I've had these for a while now. <laughs> these two bits I do remember getting. Um... And these were from Puzzcall, so they've actually got, well, this one has actually got, it's from the clock shop, John Street in Puzzcall. And this, I think, is probably a 90s set. So, yeah, earrings and then this kind of very unusual sort of solid drop. Like, well, it kind of dangles on there, but that bit is solid, like a pendulum almost. Um, in this cold set, blue and green enamel, but I just thought that was quite an odd little bit, probably 90s, yeah. So that's one, and then this bit, I think I also bought in Puffcore, but it's actually from, there you go, Tartan Gift Shop Edinburgh, and see it says 031, now I think the Edinburgh code is now 0131, um, so this is probably quite old as well. I say old, probably 90s or early 2000s. But a lovely Celtic, like Celtic knot, Scottish um, lapel pin, sash pin, um, or kilt pin even. But yeah, it's nice for the... It's got a pink sort of topaz looking stone. I've tested it, it, it is glass. It's not actually a semi precious stone, but it's still a very nice piece. And I just like how it, it's pink and it sits in with a nice like purple box. I just think that's super pretty. Right, what well, we got in the box today? We got all this stuff. I haven't bought massive, massive brooches for the longest time and then I saw a whole bunch together and I was like yes oh. and I mean look at that that is a beast it almost looks like Christmas present bow doesn't it like can you imagine like some ribbon coming off there that would look quite cool but yeah lovely and super shiny and you can see me I am I'm glad I, I decided to uh, put some clothes on <laughs> Because I've just come out with a bath and uh, I was very nearly not going to put clothes on to do this. But you didn't need to know that. Anyway, this is Trafari. And it's a quite a nice one. I don't know approximately age of this. Maybe 70s or 80s. But I think it's absolutely fab. Really, really cool. Yay. And then this was also in the shop as well. And I think this is... Normally, I don't really buy bow brooches. Look, you can really see me now. Hiya. Hello, how are you? <laughs> yeah, I normally don't really buy bow brooches, but I mean, this is huge. So I couldn't not. And also it is signed Monet. So that's pretty cool. And it's just got a really lovely, like almost 22 karat gold yellow luster on it. And I think, again, that would look super cool, like on a velvet jacket. Or could you even get away with wearing it, like, underneath a collar? I don't know. I think it's fab anyway. Who doesn't love just a massive gold bow? And then this one, we've got a lovely massive gold heart with faux pearl in there. So very kind of 80s, early 90s, that one. This one is signed Marvella. I've got some pearls by Marvella, so maybe they're known for like their pearls. But again, that's a kind of super fabulous and slightly camp. 
bit like me, a bit like Stephen. <laughs> and then we've got this one, there's some more faux pills on there. I think they're faux. Yeah, faux pills. They taste grim, by the way. Don't go licking them. That's a silly thing to do. But quite a uh, an organic, sort of brutalist, kind of textured, like leaves almost. These sort of look like leaves or even like little tiny... <gasps> they look like doggy toe beans. That's what these bits look like. But this is, it says it's... Rolled gold, it's German, German rolled gold. It kind of says somewhere in there. So, nice brooch there. And then this one, we've got another signed one. This I think is 1970s. Um, it's got, these are glass, but they're sort of made to look like carnelian and jade, I think. And this one is signed Sarah Coventry. So quite a collectible name there as well. Not quite so collectible or well known, but I think this is also kind of camp and fabulous. Is this, this is Swarovski crystal. So lovely purple. Ooh, God, the purples are working well together. Nice. Um, It's a French designer. So I looked them up and uh, this is Vogline, V-O-G-L-I-N-E, Paris. Don't think there's any or there's not that many on eBay or sold on eBay. I think I saw a couple on Etsy. They don't command huge prices considering they, that's a big chunk of Swarovski crystal there. So not huge prices, not in the 30s or anything, but still, you know, because it's Swarovski. They still do okay. I think they're just not quite so well known. But I think it's fab anyway. Lovely bit of purple. And then I put this one in just because I think it's just a bit of fun really. So that's a crinoline lady. Normally you see like crinoline ladies um, sort of cross stitched into brooches. But this has been hand painted onto a bit of perspex. See, very old clasp there, very old. Now, just because something is made out of plastic doesn't necessarily mean that it's cheaply made. Because obviously at one time, plastic was quite innovative and not the uh, environmentally unsound, horrible thing that we think of it as being now. But yeah, at one time, plastic was seen as like, you know, the future and, you know, pretty cool. So... This actually would have been probably, you know, quite the item. And nicely hand-painted, I think, as well. With a little red underskirt there. Quite cute, anyway. Okay, how about some fun badges? So here's something I didn't know. I think I've got this right anyway. So this is the old name for the NSPCC. I think so the children's league of pity which i think sounds like a bizarre slightly mean kind of superhero group i don't know like x-men gone a little bit astray perhaps but yeah the children's league of pity it's quite dark really isn't it <laughs> and then a couple of really fun ones Alton Towers. I think there was between the ages of maybe six and twelve, we went to Alton Towers every year because my sister and brother's grandparents lived sort of up that way. And uh, on the way there or on the way back from visiting them, we would just pop in to Alton Towers for the for the day. And uh, I, I don't actually like going on any rides at all, but it was still always fun. I like the little like river boats with the seals and the otters and things like that. But yeah, Alton Towers. And then this one is just fun. Safety first with Mr. Softy. But morally against soft scoop or that, that Mr. Whippy ice cream stuff. Because 
so urban legend goes uh, Margaret Thatcher's dad invented it or did Margaret Thatcher invent it because it pumps air into the the ice cream and so you get less of it for your money so yeah a couple of fun Christmassy ones this one unfortunately is uh well he's not broken he's just missing a couple of stones from the front there but I can fix that but what a scrawny looking Christmas owl he is Look at his bug eyes. But I thought he was fun anyway. And he looked so sad there in the shop that I was like, yeah, go on, I'll buy him. I'll fix him up. He's a cutie. Or just weird and misunderstood. And then a little plastic Sante. Don't know when he would be from. 80s maybe. But I like his little face anyway. That's a nice Santa, isn't it? Nice Santa. And then this brooch, I don't really know what to make of it. I bought it because of the, um, like the mini fury glass in there. But I don't know why there's these two spaces. I can't imagine things being stuck on there because there's no residue. And I don't know if like, you know, you meant to take the back off and put something in there. I don't know. I don't know if it's a faulty piece. I quite liked it anyway. And again, I thought it looked quite sad there. I think I bought it at the same time as the owl. And the owl gave that a home. I think it's nice anyway. It's got the old trombone clasp there. So it's just unusual anyway. For whatever reason, it's like this. We don't question it, we don't judge. Enough for brooches for a while, I think. Let's pull out something else. Oh, we've got another bit of something Scottish here. So here we go. I think this is signed Miracle. Miracle and Sea Gems. And there's a few more that do like the Scottish jewellery, but this is probably the most popular brand is miracle so with like a faux banded agate there um or amethyst it's just glass anyway but super pretty really nice collar length again for things like coming up to christmas and hogmanay as well burns night people are on the lookout for nice bits of scottish jewelry and you tend to send a, um, a lot of them abroad as well a lot of them tend to go to you know, America or Japan, I tend to like a lot of those things. How about this for a fab pair of clip-on earrings? I'll just undo them. But as you can see, it's like Joan Rivers. So fabulous QVC brand. Not all QVC brands are made the same, but a lot of them do have followings. And just because an item says Joan Rivers on it doesn't necessarily make it um, a good collectible piece. But Joan Rivers fab clip on earrings like this in a very gaudy 80s style. 80s with a little hint of Art Deco in there as well. But rather fabulous. So these ones should sell quite well. And they're in excellent condition as well. Really, really nice. Let's pull out some bits of silver, shall we? Ah, uh, yeah, we got some, I've got a few nice little silver necklaces here. I think I bought most of these all on the same day. So I've got this rather lovely, do you say Etruscan inspired, like with the bobbling, um, tiny little pendant with a little moonstone in there. That's really nice. And we've got a couple of other bits of lovely little sparkly silver bits. Nice for Christmas. So we've got this one, sort of like a little teardrop with a little sparkly glass in there. I don't think it's cubic zirconium because if it was, it would probably say CZ on the back. It's not a diamond, which is a shame. But that's lovely and sparkly. Lovely with a little, little cocktail dress. And we've got this one. 
again sort of like a leaf or uh, is it marquis like that sort of pointed oval shape just with i think a black enamel in there but really lovely and simple quite nice And another bit of silver. Oh, go on then, they do treat you well. And this one is super sparkly. Look at that chain as well. Don't know if you can see that, but that's a really lovely looking chain. And then we've got really gorgeous bright purple stone in there. Highly faceted. Now, did I test this one? Can't remember if it comes up as amethyst. I'll test it again at some point soon. But look at that sparkle, that's so nice. Nice open back on it as well. Nice deep stone. Super cute. Ooh, how about a bit of 70s fabulousness? So these are rather groovy. Just look at that abalone shell in there. All different colours from different directions. Super pretty. Very bohemian looking. I'm just setting enamel around the edges. And then stamped alpaca Mexico on the back. And that's Shizuma. Hello baby. Can you come to say hello? Aww. Sorry about all the twanging just then. That was the cat knocking. <laughs> She's a You can come up. Baby girl. No, oh, she's gone camera shy. Okay, some more brooches. It's been a very broochy day today, hasn't it? That's because I found some real good fun ones. This glorious green. Look at that. That is super lush. Probably Czechoslovakian or Austrian. Very simple catch on there. It's possibly 1930s, maybe even a bit earlier than that. But really gorgeous, gorgeous green in there on this pressed brass. That's lovely. And then a little bit more campness. I love flying ducks. They are so just, you know, the three ducks. I've got the um, the little pin badges, remember, that I got sent as a lovely birthday present. So I just think that's really cute. And I used to have pet ducks, so I've always had a bit of a soft spot for little ducks. My pet ducks were called Bombay and Orange. And uh, they never died. They just went to the farm. But obviously we couldn't go visit them on the farm. And then I just thought this was quite nice. It's it's not old. It is just a modern one. It's not signed. But I just thought that was a really quite nice little camp. Sort of snow white, you know, bitten into the apple. So lovely for a little bit of dress up, I think. Okay. How about a nice sparkly ring? Look at that. Now that is gorgeous. This is, um, right, it's got Korea stamped in there. And then I can't remember, I think it says 925CZ maybe. So those are testing as cubic zirconium. And then that is testing as a blue topaz. And it is a gorgeous bright blue topaz as well. It's quite small, that's probably a J, I think. J or K. But look at how fast that is, that's really lush. Get a nice open back on it as well. Gorgeous. This I found in just a, I think it was just a job lot of little bangles. Um, so easy to miss, like going through little bangles. You just sort of dismiss the thin ones, don't you? You don't really think much of them. But this one was um, like, this is it polished up. It was 
almost black. So you'd almost think it was like a gunmetal, but it is sterling silver. I polished it up and it actually says in the Danecraft sterling. So you'd think by the name that Danecraft would be Danish, but um, from the very quick Google that I did, so don't really quote me on this, I think it might be American, I'm not sure. I'll have to double check that. But it's quite cute, like these sort of wheat sheaves maybe. But yeah, quite nice. Reasonable weight to it as well. Possibly mid-century, I think. But yeah, really lovely feel to it as well. Feels dead nice. Oh, we've got a little pin. I just like that it's sort of, I don't know, it made me think of, you know, those traffic lights that like hang down in America. I don't know. But just nice sort of the art deco with the black and white, but in a really lovely coloured gold plating as well. So that'd be quite a nice tie or lapel pin there. Again, nice in a bit of velvet. Everything just looks so good on like a black velvet jacket, I think, for Christmas. That was my tummy, if you heard that. <laughs> oh, I got some 50p items. And I, I, I'm quite impressed at my 50p items. So I've got two pairs of nine carat gold earrings. So a pair of hoops. And then a nice pair of studs with this like basket weave. Again, these were sort of in a little bundle of things that I bought for like two quid. And there was like three or four pairs of earrings in there. And then this I bought at table sale uh, for 50p. So happy days. They're quite nice, but quite light though. They're, I mean, probably not even half a gram there, I think. Very, very light because they're hollow. But still, I think they're dead nice though. I think because they're sort of pressed out, maybe even like diamond cut. They've just got a nice sort of sparkle to them. I think they're quite smart anyway. Oof. Now this I really like. It's got a lovely sort of modernist kind of shape to it. It is a modern item. This lovely solid silver drop, modern clasp. And that there is a nice chunk of amber. A really lovely dark color amber there. Um, I checked for amber by putting black light on it and it fluoresced. So it gave out more light, didn't suck in light. But yeah. Really pretty, that one. I was pleased when I found that. And another tiny little bit of gold. I can't remember where I got this one from. But this little real pearls on nine carat gold leaves. It's a little pendant, so it's got a loop there. It's got four hallmarks on the back there as well. Um, HB, maybe? Possibly. I'll have to check that out again. But I've got a chain I can put that on. So that's quite pretty. I think you can just hear my mum listening to the answer machine there. <laughs> what else have we got? Hmm. Some more amber. These are unfortunately broken. Um, they were in a charity shop and they wanted three pounds for them. Um, but then she said I could have them for a pound because they were missing bits. I thought, oh, go on then. So two lovely sterling silver and amber earrings. They would have had little drops coming from there. But yeah, stamp 925 in there. Little amber hearts in the middle. So I thought they were too pretty to leave. So I don't know whether I'll be able to do something with them, add like a little jump ring with a little droplet of something, 
or whether people would really mind because from the front really you can't tell can you but i thought they were lovely certainly wasn't gonna leave them anyway leave them to be sad and unloved and unused wouldn't want that Now this is quite cute. I think I did show this in a video, but it's worth showing again. Again, quite small. I think this is probably Victorian, but this is... If you'll focus, do you wanna focus? Oh, there we go. So this is sterling silver and nine carat gold ring with the marcasite stones running through the middle. There's two marker seat missing one there and one there so basically one on either side missing so it's a shame but i might see if somehow i can get them replaced not that it's it's not worth loads it's not worth me paying someone to replace them but it might be something that i could do myself possibly but yeah just marked inside um what does it say? Nine, she says nine, yeah, nine CT and sill. Nine CT and sill. So nine carat gold and silver. But yeah, possibly like an eternity ring. It's cool anyway. Um, I think that cost me £2.50 maybe. Oh. Cute. Again, I think I've shown these before, but I'll show you them close up now. I'm pretty sure these are gold, but how cute. Little hedgehogs. I'll have to find some backs for them. But yeah, I'm pretty sure these are gold. They look like gold and they test like gold. So, you know, if it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a hedgehog, as the old saying goes. But they are super, super cute. They're really, really light. So I think there's some rules on like, if it's under a certain weight, you don't have to hallmark it. So there are no marks, but again, it, they are testing as nine carat gold, at least. And they look like gold and they feel like gold. And they're super cute. And I can't remember where I got them from. <laughs> Um, again, not sure if gold, but testing as gold is this. Hmm. So we all know that that's possibly a particular logo. And I'm not sure if those are marks in there properly. It's not very well hallmarked if it is gold anyway. So I do think this is a fake. But that is testing as gold. And then this is stamped as Italy and as nine carat gold. So I don't know what to make of that one really. Hmm. What would you do anyway? I mean, it'll probably just end up going to scrap because I don't think it is actually proper Chanel. But who can say? Now, I don't think I've ever seen really, yeah, any real Chanel jewellery, but the other day I held oh, an 18 karat gold and diamond Cartier bracelet worth £7,000. Oh, and it was beautiful. I only held it though, it was in the jewellers and uh, the lady that ran the jewellers showed it to me she was like oh like you'd appreciate this have a look at this and oh my god it was so lush mm. so i've held cartier and one day some shall be mine until then though we have other pretty things so this is a uh, laboradite and then that um some kind of pearl tahitian pearl i don't know i'm not quite sure what this like petrol colored pearl is but it definitely is pearl, set in silver, a heck of a lot of silver as well. 
But that's a gorgeous stone, look at that. Really lovely. I'm waiting for the right chain to put that on. So that should either be like on a really chunky kind of Rolo necklace or like one of them collar ones, like a solid one perhaps. That would be quite nice. Oh, last three bits. I'll show you a fun one and then two gorgeous bits. So this is my fun one. So this is the twits, Roll Dolls the twits. So this is them when they're standing on their heads, um, which makes them get shorter, I think. Is that how it goes in the story? I haven't read the twits for years. George's Marvelous Medicine is my favorite. But yeah, it's just a um, tie pin or lapel pin. Limited edition one from when they did the Roald Dahl stamps. So it's probably a collector's bit. Would have been nice to have had a whole set maybe. Maybe one day I'll find them. I just think that's fun. And then, okay, two favourite bits coming up now. This. Oh, look at that. Absolutely stunning Art Deco style ring. Again, it's going to have to be a pinky one on me. I mean, I don't have particularly fat fingers or anything. I'm a size M. So this must be like a K. But how gorgeous is that? Look at the shoulders. Look at that setting. Completely stunning. It's fully hallmarked as well. So it is sterling silver. That's not a special stone, unfortunately. It is glass. I mean, how much would you love that to be a sapphire? But, you know, that's never going to happen that size. But just stunning. If it fit that finger, it would be a keeper on me. But, unfortunately not. Won't even go past my knuckle. Shame. Gorgeous. Mm. Just looking for the right finger to live on. And then this really lovely find again this was just black absolutely black and look completely unloved so i've given it a little bit of a polish it is silver and then these i've tested with the presidium tester and they are a lovely smoky quartz so huge chunks of quartz on sterling silver findings with little crystals dotted in between as well. Absolutely beautiful. Really lovely and chunky. Very nice to wear as well. Because they're not in any way sharp. And they just fall really nice. Mm. Really gorgeous that. <sighs> Yay. Right. So that's my favourite bits from the last few weeks. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. If there's anything you fancy, I mean, I'm not in a rush to any to, to list any of these things, but if there is anything you fancy, just uh, email me on the email address below and we'll, uh, we'll sort something out if you fancy any of these as Christmas presents or as presents to yourself, obviously because why not? Right, well, until next time then, uh, bye-bye now, bye-bye.